Adong pagkakaiba ng civil service exam sa professional level sa civil service exam professional level. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw na to. Hi guys and guys, this is Naomi once again and I hope you already doing fine. So bago tayo dumako sa pinaka-essence ng video na to, gusto ko muna magpasalamat sa mga nakapanood na ng mga previous videos ko about civil service exam, pati na rin po sa mga nag-subscribe sa YouTube channel ko. Maraming maraming salamat po, sobrang na-appreciate ko po yun at malaking bagay po yun para sa akin. And by the way, if this is your first time to visit my channel and watch my videos, my name is Noemi D. Cantoria or na Yumi C is the name of my channel I passed the civil service exam sa professional level last March 2018 and I also passed the civil service exam professional level last August 2019 and today I'll be sharing with you the four major differences between taking sa professional level and professional level career service eligibility so I'll start with the first one the first one is the scope of examination Basically, halos parehas lang naman ang scope of examination for both levels. Ang pagkakaiba nga lang is parehas silang merong third subject. So, ano nga ba ang third subject? I'll start with the sub-professional level. For sub-professional level, meron tayong clerical operations as well as spelling. So, for the professional level naman, meron po tayong analogy and meron din tayong logic. Pero basically, yung mga kailangan talaga nating aralin is parehas meron sa dalawang level na to, which is the verbal ability. Sa verbal ability, meron tayong vocabulary of course, grammar and correct usage, uh, reading comprehension, paragraph organization, and a lot more. Meron din po tayong numerical operations, which is consists of math questions, of course. And meron din tayong general information, which talks about Philippine constitutions, current events, how to protect our um, environment, preservation of our natural resources, and a lot more. By the way, meron akong ginawang videos or detailed the videos about dito, the coverage for professional and sub-professional exam, pati na rin yung mga tips, paano sagutan yon. If you haven't watched it, uh, pwede mo siyang i-search sa list of videos ko at pwede mo na mga panood yun. Okay? So, uh, yun lang naman ang major differences nila, the third subject. Pero halos parehas lang naman talaga ang coverage ng exam. Okay? So, the second difference is the level of difficulty. So, alam naman natin na mas mahirap yung professional level sa sub-professional level. Okay? So, for sub-professional level, if uh, you were to ask me, um, basta sabi ko na ang sub-professional level ko is just like uh, taking um, college entrance examination. Okay? So, kung isa kang senior high school graduate, isa kang um, high school graduate or college undergraduate, malamang naranasan mo nang mag-take ng entrance exam sa mga colleges, mga universities, at mga pamantasan. So, kung marerecall mo pa yun, um, maiko-compare ko siya sa pag-take ng ganong um, examination. Kasi mostly, sa mga entrance exam, meron tayong, syempre, vocabulary, mathematics, at pati na rin yung mga history, di ba? So, yeah, mako-compare ko siya sa uh, ganong level, okay? So, parang college intense exam siya. So, for professional level naman, um, to be honest, nahirapan din ako sa level na to and I didn't expect na papasa rin ako in just one take. So, para sa akin, mas mahirap tong sa uh, professional level kasi more on technical na siya. Mas mahirap na yung mga English questions, pati na rin yung math question. Um, especially sa English questions, um, yung analogy and logic, um, mag-prepare po tayo doon kasi um, kailangan talaga nating magbasa ng magbasa at mag-practice ng mag-practice. Otherwise, malaki yung chance na ma-lose natin yung points sa analogy and logic. Pati na rin sa reading comprehension, kailangan natin i-maximize yung time natin. Okay? So, mahirap yung um, exam for uh, professional level sa mathematics kasi walang calculator na involved plus kailangan nga natin i-maximize yung oras natin. Actually, for in my case, um, 
medyo nag-focus kasi ako sa English kasi nung nag-take ako ng exam last August, uh, parang more on English yung questions. Comment down below kung, nah- kung nag-take ka last August exam at nakarilig ka sa sinasabi ko ngayon. Okay, so kasi yung una kasi lumalabas sa exam is more on English. So, nung bandang kalagitnaan na, nasa math na ako, tiningnan ko yung oras, paubos na yung oras. So, better yet, kung magaling ka sa math, mas, um, pwede ka namang mag-skip, unahin mo muna yung math, kasi parang mas marami yung oras na gugugulin mo doon, kasi kailangan mo talaga mag-compute, isa-isahin, and a lot more. Okay, so basically, yung level of difficulty talaga, for sa professional level and professional level, is magkaiba. Pero, as I've mentioned, review lang ng review at syempre papasa ka rin. Okay? So, the next um, difference or the major difference is um, application for job or qualification for application. Okay? Sa sub-professional level kasi as I've mentioned, na-discuss ko na rin to sa previous videos ko. If you haven't watched it, please uh, search it na lang and you can watch it. So, for the sub-professional level, um, alam naman natin na pwedeng mag-apply kahit yung mga senior high graduate lang, high school graduate, and college undergrads. Pero pagdating sa professional level, ang qualification is kailangan college graduate ka, degree holder ka, or at least tapos ka ng 4-year course. Pero syempre, hindi naman yon, hindi naman porke hindi ka tapos ng college or hindi ka nakapag-college, eh hindi ka na pwede mag-take ng professional level. Meron pa rin options or kung gugustuhin mo, pwede pwede kang mag-take ng professional level kahit na second year college ka lang, kahit na high school graduate ka lang. Okay? So, basically, yung qualification kasi ang nagkakaiba talaga. Pero, for professional level passers, pwede kang mag-apply both levels. Um, meron tayong first degree position and the second degree first position or the first level and second level positions. And if you are a passer professional level, you can apply for both positions. Positions, sorry. Pero for if you are a passer of sa professional level, you can only apply for first level positions and that is for clerical, custodial, and trade positions. So, okay, you have to be college graduate and have a uh, diploma for year degree for you to apply for a professional level but uh, i sorry first or first and second degree um jobs or positions but as i've mentioned if you are willing to have the same level sa professional and professional and you are just a college undergrad undergraduate just pa- fine you can actually um apply for a job in private companies and they might as well um hire you for being a passer kasi syempre dagdag competent mo na rin yun eh dagdag competence mo na rin sorry about that okay so the last uh, major difference is the job opportunities Sorry kung tumitingin ako, may notes kasi ako dito. Okay, so for the job opportunities naman, as I've mentioned, eligible nga ang, ang sub-professional level passer for first level positions. And for professional level passers naman, is eligible siya for both first level and second level positions. So for sub-professional level, as I've mentioned, uh, pwede ka sa mga clerical works or office works. Uh, pwede ka rin sa mga jobs na related sa trade and custom. So, for the professional level naman, mas lucky ka or mas swerte ka kasi pwede mong applyan yung parehas na level. So, pwede kang mag-apply sa more on technical jobs, scientific na jobs, as I've mentioned all the time. So, mas mataas din yung chances mo for promotion and regularization. Actually, kung passer ka ng sub-professional level, there is also a huge chance na ma-promote ka rin agad at Sorry, ma-regularize ka agad. And there is also a possible chance for you to get promoted. Okay, so basically, those are the four major differences between the civil service exam sa professional level and professional level. So just to recap, the first one is the scope of examination. The second one is the level of difficulty. The third one is the qualifications for job applications. And the fourth or the last one is the 
job opportunities being offered for both levels. So guys, I hope may napulot kayo sa napulot kayo sa message kong ito or sa video na to. Sana nagkaroon ka na ng linaw ng isipan kung ano nga ba yung kukunin mong levels. Pwede mong kunin either sa professional lang, pwede mong kunin kung professional lang, or pwede pwede mong naman kunin yung parehas na levels. Okay? So yeah, once again, this is Naomi C. Wishing you a happy day today. Please always be positive. Keep on praying, keep on smiling, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now! Thank you.